Hello again everyone, I'm, I'm back from my big trip to uh, Tokyo Saitama area and uh, I woke up this morning to find this um, uh, Many people familiar with the Tekken series games will recognise this character as Jin Kazama um, Poster character, almost literally um, So yeah, this is quite a, quite a surprising turn of events uh, I would say cardboard cut out, but I think it's actually made of some kind of uh, more polystyrene-esque plasterboard type stuff um, but yeah, this is slap bang in the middle of my room. Um, lots of uh, stuff laying around. I haven't really had a, a chance to properly unpack uh, from the trip, but I got back successfully, as you can see. Um, very good. Not a lot in my room uh, on the whole because I um, really can't afford to. I'm going to be moved out of my place to uh, the first floor uh, from the f fourth, and, uh, and so there really isn't much point. Um, uh, making too much choice, but the point is, um, Jin Kazama, I found it underneath my door, it's now uh, making use as uh, a bin shield, really, uh, it's blocking my rubbish, uh, which is already uh, a bit of an eyesore, uh, but this is superb, um, taking a bit of damage, puzzled yet, um, puzzled really, and not sure yet as to why, as to what, how, how and why, uh, it has come to be and furthermore exist in my room as it does at the present time. Um, very interesting. And, and a little message for me uh, and the wider world. So, uh, dear Chris, that's me. Uh, I want to uh, erase. Um, I presume, yeah, I'm filling in the gaps, have uh, your uh, half the word baby. So, yeah, sure. I mean, that, that's a nice uh, you know, token there, really. Uh, signed to some extent, it's been again erased. Uh, written on an inbuilt, which is quite impressive as well, dry dry, uh, dry marker type board. Um, yeah, I don't know. So what I find interesting, though, apart from the you know, uh, sincere sign of uh, gratitude towards uh, my, my involvement in this whole place, what I like uh, is you can see the deliberation as to what exactly to write on the board. Um, Judged by the handwriting, you know, I've got my suspicions as to who it might have been uh, done by. Perhaps it was a an effort done by committee here. You know, perhaps uh, a number of people banded together to make this all happen. I'm not sure, but uh, I think you can kind of... Can, I, I personally, I can kind of make out where uh, there may have been a bit of discussion and argument and, oh, no, we can't write that. Oh, no, I've got something better. Oh, put hog in the pen. You know, I can imagine that kind of uh, situation arising. But, uh, yeah, very pleased with it. Uh, very rare, I haven't seen one of these before. Um, got it in my room actually. Taking a bit of damage as I've said, but I'm sure, uh, yeah, it's going to remain a focal point of my room at least until I move out, which is on the 9th or the 10th. I have an option yet to reply to that email. And uh, this brings me on to my second subject, really, um, which is um, basically, uh, yeah, arriving back from a five day trip sort of takes up six days when you factor in the night bus stuff uh, which overall went really well um all went rather flawlessly to be honest a lot of it many times when it got a little bit stressful but uh mostly around the travel um during the actual trip all went successfully uh very kindly uh given uh, hospitality on uh, a friend's floor for a few days which saved me an absolute fortune and uh, superb hospitality throughout actually great company excellent stuff and uh, I saw everything I planned to uh, in my night bus preview video I, I wanted to go to the tower I saw the tower I wanted to go to Yokohama I saw Yokohama and it very well actually impressed by the place um, I rather wanted to see those things out of uh, an obligation a sense of obligation to sort of tick those places off my list they're the things you need to do in Tokyo but genuinely um, throughout the duration I felt yeah I really did genuinely want to do this so Great pictures as well. Uh, I'll upload those you know, fairly soon on Facebook. And um, yeah, just everything went pretty well. I sat next to reasonable people on the bus. Um, on the return journey, sat next to a, an elderly man, possibly a salary man, I'm not sure. Uh, he snored a bit, but um, but this is where my preparation came into uh, came to the fore because uh, wore a, a reasonably uh, durable 
and the lightweight jacket with me, so I wasn't too hot on the on the bus. But it was also equipped with a hood, so uh, sheltered away on the bus, curtains closed, and uh, I did actually get about an hour and a half sleep out of the nine or so hours I was on the bus each time. So not brilliant, but it's the best you're gonna do if you ever have you know, desires to sleep on the night bus. Um, I don't know. Don't be too optimistic. It's pretty difficult, um, and I had pretty. Um, Pretty good circumstances in which I could sleep. Window seat both times, excellent as well. Every effort was made by them to make it smooth. You know, the bus didn't actually make too much noise. It's fairly smooth through the night. Not much noise being made. Everybody courteous and conscientious around me, but it's still difficult to sleep like that. And um, but overall, I'm very happy. Uh, financially doing okay, although I need to draw some money out because I'm actually down to my last couple of pounds. Uh, which is a little bit worrying if the uh, if my credit card decides not to work, as it has done in the past. Um, but yeah, pretty good. I've got a lot of errands and things to run now because I've been away for a few days and things are all catching up with me. So I'll need to um, print a few things off at the university, find out my results from the previous semester's uh, efforts. Uh, I've always been a bit too busy to be worried about them, but uh, yeah, I am a bit concerned, so uh, I want to find those out as soon as possible. Uh, so two birds, one stone on that front, and I'll get some money out as well. So um, that's uh, so that's my day uh, in store, really. I'm, not, I'm running out of time because I want to get there before it all closes, but pretty good. Uh, recovered 24 hours after arriving back, so uh, yeah, let's get going with everything. Uh, I'll have plenty more errands to run in the near future, so, uh, you know, just, just, just as per um, sorting out the teaching forms and going to meet with a personal tutor and things like that, but that'll be all out of the way hopefully fairly soon and then I'll be starting with the next semester within a week or so, plus uh, I'll be moving rooms on the 9th or 10th as I've said, so everything's going to be happening pretty quickly. Uh, but pretty good, I'm especially happy today because my internet's working again, I arrived back yesterday surfed around the internet for a couple of hours, I went to sleep to catch up, uh, I woke up to find my internet no longer working and no real explanation. Um, it blew my mind and I, re and it's a sudden realisation of uh, what if I don't, bearing in mind uh, I have no phone, dealing with um, companies as I might have had to, uh, to get my internet back working is uh, not a, a sort of fond prospect really. So I'm rather worried that I, I, I might have no internet for the next five months, and uh, that was fairly chilling. But uh, woke up today, tried it again, and it works, and it's still working. And fingers crossed, it will continue to still work. So that's uh, really to be fairly happy. Um, I didn't spend too much money on my trip, so I feel uh, results pending that uh, I might trip myself and uh, get some more adventurous groceries or plentiful groceries today. And a final note, it's a birthday party tomorrow, so uh, that shall be very good. Um, very much looking forward to it, I think I've got a reasonable grasp of the plan. Should be pretty good, we haven't all had a big night out in a long time, so... In fact, my birthday is probably the last big night, but uh, anyway. Other than this sort of roundup video here, uh, needless to say, trip, excellent. Things done on the trip, excellent. Money spent, excellent. Um, would I go again? Uh, if it's as good to be as good as it was this time, yes. Uh, although, of course, I had less reason to kind of uh, take a few things off. Uh, but yeah, the company there was uh, excellent, very welcoming from uh, a lot of new faces there. Um, very different, though. Um, completely different area, both geographically and possibly. Um, with its philosophy and you know, way of life also. So uh, very good all in all and uh, getting kicked back into action uh, after a busy few days. Uh, so I will, well thank you for watching my uh, past few videos in the recent days and weeks and uh, I'll continue to do a, another video for the next F1 round in two or so weeks time. But until then um, yeah, thanks for watching this as well, and um, I'll get back to you soon when I have more information to give you. But uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.